What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create a Facebook retargeting pixel to go through and go set up Facebook retargeting ads for your business. Right now, real quick before we dive in and I show you exactly how to set that up, I just wanna show you guys how powerful this is. So instead of going through and showing your Facebook ads to a completely cold audience that has no idea who you are, they've never heard of you, we can go through and with this retargeting pixel, we can show our ads specifically to people who've already visited our website, who already are our leads or people who have already engaged with your Facebook page or watched a video on your Facebook page. So the cool thing about this is this person's already warmed up, they already know a little bit about who you are and so the credibility, authority, the trust, all that stuff is a lot higher with these people and so the results you're able to get are dramatically higher, the dramatically better as opposed to go through and just marketing to a cold audience. So I just wanna show you guys right here this is inside my main um, ads account. You guys can see these are the purchases. Okay, so every time you see a purchase happening right here, that is worth a thousand dollar purchase, a thousand dollar ticket item um, that that comes into our business. Now, if you look right here on the cost per purchase, look I, it, for this one right here where it's twelve, it costs ninety two dollars and ninety five cents to get a thousand dollar purchase. So overall, the amount spent was a one thousand one hundred fifteen dollars to make $12,000 in revenue. Okay, so now typically if I'm going through and marketing to a cold market, cold audience, it costs me about probably three to $400, depending kind of on the ads and everything, to go through and generate that, th that $1,000 sale. Now if you look at overall, we have 29 purchases right here, so $29,000, basically $30,000, and it costs just $4,500. Okay, so that's like a 7x ROI right there. So super huge. So you can see $92 right here. This one obviously didn't perform as well, but $381 for a $1,000 sale. This one, $191, $247, $94, $86. Then you scroll down here, $56, $84, and $89, $166. So you can see all these different ones. So $89, so I spent a total of $356 to make $4,000 back out. Okay, so I just want to really quick show you guys all that stuff because that is the power of the Facebook retargeting pixel instead of these Facebook retargeting ads. And really quick, if you guys are kind of getting started, you're brand new with Facebook ads, if you drop a comment down below and thumbs up on this video, I will share with you my Facebook ads mini course that's going to walk you through step by step how to get started with the Facebook ads manager, how to set up your Facebook pixels, your retargeting pixels all those different things and I break it down step by step for you guys how to set up your campaigns do the targeting so all you gotta do is drop a comment down below give a thumbs up on this video and also I would really appreciate if you guys subscribe to the channel because we launch a new video several several times a week on how to generate more leads make more money and grow your business so anyway guys now that we got that all out of the way and you guys see how powerful this is let's go through and show you how to set up this Facebook retargeting pixel so you can actually start using this and implement it into your business. So if we come over here, this is a, just a demos ad account. I'll just exit out this one. I'm just gonna refresh this, make sure that I'm still logged into the right account. Okay, so right here, guys, this is my demo ads account. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to the search bar and we're gonna type in pixels, okay? Now, if you guys have never set up your Facebook pixel before, no worries, okay? What's gonna happen is you're gonna have, I think it's a green button right here, and it's gonna say create Facebook pixel. And it's gonna just take you through a step-by-step -step process right here on Facebook to be able to go through and create that Facebook pixel. Okay, so now you can see this is a demo account, but I, I use it for all my demo stuff, so yes, it is like firing. So like what firing means means that anytime, so like let's say we've got this, pi this pixel, which real quick, let me just hit that really quick. What is a pixel, right? So basically it's a little piece of code that you'll go through and you'll put on your website. And I'll show you guys how to do that here in just a second as well. And you'll put that on your website. And anytime someone pulls up your website, it basically is this little piece of code that communicates back and forth with Facebook, letting Facebook know who visited your website. Okay, so it's pretty cool. And then you can go through and that person becomes a part of a custom audience then you can go through and set up these retargeting ads and go show your ads specifically to these people. So you can see um, 163 people have visited the websites that I have this demo pixel, this demo stuff on that I can go through and create an ad targeting these 163 people. 
Okay, so pretty cool. But what we're gonna do is gonna click, click on default pixel right here. And guys, Facebook's changing their, their Facebook ads manager, the way it looks and all that stuff all the time. But this is the most recent. This is we're in April now of 2018. So I just want to share with you guys the most recent, most up to date, everything of how it all looks. So you can see all the stats right here of how many times like per day that it's it's firing that someone's visiting your website. But what we want to do to go through and set up this Facebook retargeting pixel and using it on our actual website. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it on our MKG, our lead generation software here that we've got. And I'll also show you guys how to do it on ClickFunnels because that's another one that's widely used by a lot of people just to make it simple. And honestly, it's the same thing if you're using WordPress, Shopify, Wix, whatever. It's the same process and format. I just want to show you guys really quick. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on Setup over here. And we should get these options right here. Use an integration or tag manager, manually install the code yourself, or email instructions to a developer. Now, you're probably like me, okay, and you're probably not tech, techno, technologically inclined and you're not very advanced with all that stuff, which I'm not either, guys. So you might think like, oh, I'm going to email instructions to a developer. Well, you might not have a developer, okay? And honestly, the nice thing is, is manually installing the code yourself is very easy, okay? All it is is copy and paste. Like, you don't even have to know what the code is, what it means, what it does. Um, you just copy and paste, and that's what I do. And so that's what you can do as well. So we're just going to click on manually install the code yourself. And then we're just going to skip over section number one. And then number two, look at this, guys. Copy the entire pixel code and paste it in the website header. Okay, now I don't know about you guys, but I'm not very technologically advanced, but I can copy and paste pretty easily. I'm pretty good at that, right? So I'm just going to come down here. And as you hover over this, see how it says copy code to clipboard? You just click on this. And guys, all this stuff, all this nonsense, I have no idea what it means. And you probably have no idea what it means either. All I know is that if I copy this and I paste it onto my website, I know that it works and that it communicates back and forth with Facebook. Okay, so that is all you really need to do. So I just click on this, copy to clipboard. Now I'll first show you guys how to do it inside of Arsenal. And then I'll show you guys how to do it inside of ClickFunnels here really quick. So all I'm going to do is going to come in here to the website builder. We're going to click on edit. Okay, and if we come back here, it says um, paste the pixel code at the bottom of the header section just above the head tag. Okay, now if you're using WordPress, Wix, Shopify, ClickFunnels, Arsenal, whatever you're using, pretty much you're going to have, um, it's going to have a little custom box where you can just paste it into the head tag, okay, this head area. So what we're going to do is come back over here, and if we just go over here to this page level, we can go down to advanced. And see this little box that says header tracking code? This is exactly what it's talking about. Okay, so all we do is just paste it right there. And then if we want to do it on the thank you page, we'll just click on that. We'll click page, paste it right here on the header tracking code. We'll hit publish. And it says website saved and published. And that's it, guys. You are done. Now, every single time somebody visits, visits this landing page that you've created inside the Arsenal software, Facebook's going to know they're going to go through and track it inside of their system and you're all set ready to go. Now, the same thing goes for click funnels over here. So if we come over here, let's just pick a random funnel. So we're going to come in here and sorry, my internet's a little bit slow right now. So let's come down to, let's say this testimonials one. Okay. I want to go through, I want to track everyone that visits this testimonial page and you can go through, there's two ways to do it. You can go through and do it every page individually. Or you can just do it once and it will apply to every single page in this funnel. So I'm just going to come up here to settings. Okay. And then inside the settings, it's going to have a spot where you can see the header tracking code. Now, I've already got my main Facebook pixel for my main website in here. So you can see this right here. I already copied and pasted that. So if we want to do this new one, we just paste it in there and you are set. You just come down and hit. I'm just going to actually take that off because I've already got the pixel code in there. Then all you got to do is hit save and update settings and you are good. You're done. You're set. You're ready to go. Now, one thing that you can do is this Facebook pixel helper. If you guys are using Google Chrome, which I highly recommend using Google Chrome just in general, using Facebook ads manager, using everything, but they have this little pixel that I'll show you guys right here. So Facebook pixel helper, this is a Chrome plugin where you go say add to Chrome you can see right here it's grayed out right now. That's because the Facebook pixel is not on this page right here. Now, if you pull up 
let's say um, one of my websites right here you'll be able to see right here it says highlighted it says two or one it's, it could say one or two that means that the Facebook pixel is successfully installed so this Facebook pixel helper this is a hundred percent free Chrome plugin you can say add to Chrome okay and then you can use that to test and see if it's working on your website on your landing pages on your blog on whatever site you're going through and using okay so now that we've got this installed what we want to do is come back over here to the Facebook Ads Manager and we want to create an audience. So we're just going to click on audience. Okay, so audience is right here. And we're going to go through, through and create an audience custom to people who have already visited our website. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So watch this. We're going to come over here to create audience. We'll click custom audience right here. And then we'll say, hey, we could do a customer file. That means we could, if we have a list of leads, we can upload that information into Facebook. But what we want to do to take advantage of the Facebook retargeting pixel is to go through and click on website traffic right here. And then we could say, hey, I want all website visitors. That means anyone, wherever my pixel's at, anyone that's that hits any page on my website in the past 30 days, and I think you can go to max 180 days. See that right there? So you can go up to 180 days if we want to um, collect everyone. Or you could say, hey, I only want people who visit specific pages okay so you can go through and do like your blog right here put in the URL to your blog so let's just say I'll just show you guys really quick right here so our Arsenal MKG our blog if we click on this and we say okay hey I only want people where are we back here so I only want people that have visited um, something one of the pages on this URL so uh, on our blog right so you can go through and you can say or this landing page or that landing page or this is specific blog post and you can go through and create these custom audiences but for this example we'll just say all website visitors and we'll say demo all website visitors to give it a name and also you can go through and include more in case you can dive in deeper say hey anyone's visit all my website pages or or you can say hey anyone who's visited this specific web page or you can even go through and say how, how much time they've spent on your website which is pretty cool because like if you go through and create a blog post and if you want to know like you know did they read it or not you can say hey someone who's spent at least 30 seconds on my blog post on my website and see if they're really searching around and know and so they're not just like clicking on or clicking off or you can say hey I want everyone that's visited my website but I want to exclude anyone who has visited this specific website or this specific page okay so if there's like a page where it's like I don't want I don't want these people to be included in this audience you can go through and do that as well and then once we go through create the audience name we can create that audience and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna drop down so we're gonna say done for right now you can see demo all website visitors okay so it's, it says populating right now and guys this is gonna it takes sometimes a couple hours it could take as much as 24 hours to go through and populate it but that doesn't mean that you can go through that doesn't mean that you can't go through and start creating your Facebook ad campaign targeting these people specifically now let me just go through I wasn't gonna do this but I'll just show you guys how to go through and target that that specific community with these Facebook retargeting ads so just go through and click, click create and then we'll say for this example we'll just say traffic and guys I cover in that Facebook ads mini course I mentioned that I'll give you guys if you give a thumbs up on this video and drop a comment below I cover all these different marketing objectives and when you want to use each one and how to go through and use them and all that in detail so for this one we're just gonna say traffic demo campaign continue and then now what we can do is we can actually choose that specific Facebook audience right here when we come down to custom audiences click right there and then it'll pop up we have our lookalike audiences which I cover that all in that Facebook ads mini course as well guys so drop a comment below give a thumbs up on this video we'll just come over here to custom audience and you can see right here demo all website visitors okay so you can see it says less than 20 people but that's just because it's still populating okay so you don't have to worry about that we can just click on this and as it populates Facebook will automatically update that so you don't have to go through and worry about it and because this is a custom audience we don't have to worry about you know targeting the United States or age or men or women or language or anything else right here we just target this specific audience and then we go through and we can choose where we want to place the ad 
our budget that we want to spend each day and typically on retargeting ads we can spend a lot less money we can spend as much as like five dollars or one to five dollars and go through and hit that specific audience and I was just on it was, it's been a few weeks now actually but I was on a call with our Facebook ads rep and it was really cool because they were saying that for if you're if you've got a custom audience and you're retargeting that audience that Facebook will actually show your ad before any other advertisers because you basically own that data okay because it you've shown that hey this person's already interacted with my brand so it's gonna show your ad first and your ads are gonna be a lot cheaper so it's pretty cool and so you can actually spend a lot less money on the daily you can say maybe five bucks or even a dollar depending on the audience size hit continue and go through finish up creating that ad and as I mentioned guys all the ad creation, all that stuff I have inside of that Facebook ads mini course I want to give to you guys if you just give it a thumbs up and you go drop a comment down below. So anyway guys, hopefully this is helpful with the whole Facebook retargeting pixel, setting up your Facebook retargeting ads, getting all that put together. Um, if you guys like this and you're brand new to the channel, my name is Jason Wardrop. I launch new videos every single week helping you generate more leads, make more money, and grow your business. So hopefully you guys like this. If you guys want that Facebook ads mini course, Give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and I will see you guys all tomorrow.